Sword Art. Hey everybody, it's Triple L and welcome to a Sword Art Online Alicization video. Okay, so here's what's up. I want to start covering uh, Sword Art again. Uh, just doing like watch throughs and stuff. I know, kind of crazy given my how bad I am at my current schedule. But hey, I want to try doing it. So what I'm going to do, all the episodes that I've kind of missed over the time, I'm just going to give you a quick review for each one. The rules are pretty simple. It's going to be 20 words or less. Uh, an episode's going to come up on the screen. I'm going to talk about it for 20 words or less. And we're going to move on. So if you're into that, cool. Here we go. 20 words or less for every episode of Sword Art Online so far. That is episodes 1 to episode 21. Ideally, I will watch episode 22 and put it up in a notes and impression video. Anyway, let's just get into this. Am I wrong for liking fantasy child Kirito more? Oh gosh, is he actually down? Oh man. Swords are better than axes at tree chopping and a small child becomes a call to adventure. Yu-Gi-Oh would never survive Goblin Slayer, but hey, he can cut down a tree. Wow. Side characters get to do stuff while pretending to be the Scooby-Doo gang. You're not real, the real you is speaking to you, 100% nightmare fuel. Also, info dump. Massive time skip introduced willpower and imagination as being an important factor really well. Lena's great. The power of imagination has never looked so cool. And Dick Nobles are punchable. Flowers are the real MVPs. I did not expect the noble jerks to be this well utilized. That ending though. Excellent build up. The anger. Oh wow, Yu-Gi-Oh! Also the art really accentuated the whole thing. Transition episode with pop progression on all sides. Also, really neat trick with the chains. The pages are heroes. Interesting to see episode 6's info dump from another perspective. Also, kids killing defenseless animals is never a good sign. Love the Charlotte's Web reference. Great exposition and establishment of short-term goals. The monsters have flocked lights. Oh, come on. That's pretty much the feel. Weapons have second forms now. Can it really be anime without the creepy murderous little girls? But hey, don't worry. Kirito is genre savvy. The episode aims to establish victims on both sides. Why does Alice have such an OP sword? Alice is an idiot eight times over. And is adorable! It's incredible their arms didn't pop out of their sockets. The Dark World uses continuous attacks. Hmm. Yujo really broke down in front of his enemy, but good on him. Man, Yu-Gi-Oh is just a bucket of problems. Then you have this lady seducing him. Classic toxic relationship. Here it comes. Dual wielder Kirito or not. Instead, we get this punchable face. And a really convenient villainous monologue. Bonus new opening animation. Why does she like being naked so much? Still a punchable face. She really likes being naked. But hey, she knows the best ways of using it. And oh my god, there we go, 21 episodes, woo, great, woo, yeah, 21 episodes of uh, Sword Art, so guys, was it fun watching those 21 episodes? Yeah, yeah, it pretty much was, that's what I've really gotten from this season, it's fun. And if, one, if I could say one thing about the season in general so far is that they've done a really good job making very annoying and detestable villains, like villains you want to see crushed, uh, Sword Art's done a very good job building up those characters but going through those 21 episodes you know there are spots where I, I find think when it comes to how quickly they resolve problems and how the powers work I found things there to be kind of you know not as solid for instance in the last couple of episodes you know Yu-Gi-Oh and Kirito had this whole issue about 
uh, not wanting to go up to the 50th floor or whatever because there were probably going to be a lot of people waiting there but then you know you get to the episode and they just deal with it Yujiro just uses his Bankai and then he just freezes everyone you know things like that um, the, the conflict resolution is relatively simple like I can go into most episodes knowing that whatever problem was set up or whatever enemy they had to face was going to be over in one episode so that's something to keep in mind anyway I'm breaking the rules here but guys tell me if you like this video and uh, I hope there are Sword Art fans who wouldn't mind watching the episodes along with me. So till another one of those Sword Art videos, thank you for watching and until next time I hope you have an absolutely great day. Also I need to make sure I do this. This video style was inspired by Totally Not Mark. I had initially seen one of his Dragon Ball Super videos, I, well months ago at this point. Maybe even a few years ago, back when Dragon Ball Super was going and I and the style really kind of stuck with me and that's kind of what inspired this way of doing reviews. So if you guys really like this and you want to check out, you know, the guy that inspired me, like check out Totally Not Mark. I'm not sure if he has any more of this style of video, but he definitely has the one Dragon Ball Super video. So yeah, uh, there you go. I have the link in the comments or in the description down below. Anyway, like I was saying, till next time, I hope you have an absolutely great day.